Well, get this. His so-called miracle drug, once given to people for free, may now cost those same people hundreds of thousands of dollars. Patients trying to figure out just how to afford that drug's new hefty price tag. Because Money Matters, Caitlin Sinet is asking an Arkansas couple how they're going to afford that drug. David Tablish feels like the weight of the world is on his shoulders. Your muscles are so weak that everything, uh, especially your thighs, it, it affects all the muscles that you have control of. He has a rare autoimmune disease called Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome, or LEMS. Most doctors haven't even heard of it. Years ago, David and his wife, Levita, found something that helped. The DAP, the, the medicine, gives you that life back. It's a miracle drug. It's called 3,4-diaminopyridine, or 3,4-DAP. David takes the drug every two and a half hours. We were just elated that he could be halfway normal. The Tablishes got the drug through a small family-run company in New Jersey. Now that will all change. Starting January 15th, David will no longer be able to get this drug from Jacobus Pharmaceutical, which he's been getting for 10 years for free. The 3-4 DAP is not FDA approved. Patients like David were still able to get it after completing a lot of paperwork, tests, and going to multiple doctors. Drugs that have yet to be FDA approved or licensed for sale in the U.S. are sometimes available during the investigational phase on what's called a compassion basis. Jacobus eventually applied to get 3-4 DAP FDA approved. A company called Catalyst Pharmaceutical beat them to the punch with a modified drug called Ferdaps. The cost will be $375,000 a year. $375,000 for a drug they've been getting for free. The process to get a drug FDA approved isn't fast or cheap. It takes about 12 years and about $350 million to get a drug from laboratory to pharmacy shelf. A federal law offers incentives to companies to develop drugs for patients with rare diseases. It helps those companies get some of that money back. Once marketed, they cannot have competition for the market for seven years to come to give them time to recoup some of those costs. Because of that, the patients now have to get the drug through Catalyst. Jacobus can no longer distribute 3 4 DAP to LEMS patients. Catalyst says patients should not have to pay the entire $375,000 a year. We checked with a pharmacist at Mercy in Springfield. The pharmaceutical companies will have uh, patient assistance programs that help the uh, individual with the copay, uh, bringing it down to something that's very reasonable. That $375,000 will affect more than just the patients. It will affect you. Everybody's insurance rates go up as a result of these drugs that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. David does have health care through the VA. They have to go before a board and approve it that they'll even pay for the drug for my husband. The tablishes are still trying to figure out exactly what the cost will be and how they will get it. It's just stressful because we have to go through all this again. We thought we were settled in. It does wonderful for him, and now all of a sudden, it's almost like we're going back in time trying to explain ourselves again and why we need this help. That's a lot of money. A Catalyst spokesperson tells us, despite the cost, that FDA approval is actually a positive thing, saying drugs aren't supposed to be in the investigational phase forever, and now all patients can benefit because any doctor will be able to prescribe it. Well, coming up, what would you do to find the perfect job? See how people from all over the